Hey, what's up? This is Texas. Um, I'm writing down some notes right now, so I don't like forget what I want to talk about. Um, I am. I have completed four months, and I'm within my fifth month of my um, transition um, since I've been on T. Um, and it's been good for the most part, um, I would say. Um, you know, last night I went to my first trans um, support group in Brooklyn and I thought that was really really awesome um, it was very small but I got to meet some people and talk about a lot of important things so um, that was cool um, as you can tell my voice has dropped um, that fluctuates I don't know why that fluctuates maybe it's the weather um, it usually gets a lot more deeper when I like the day after I drink um, which is something I've been trying not to do as frequently. Um, so, you know, I've been trying to like work out and eat very clean, um, drinking a lot of water, um, you know, taking vitamins. So yeah. Um, but yeah, the voice fluctuates and also I, I talk more from my chest. So even if my voice isn't as deep, like I can just automatically make it, you know, just a little bit deeper, um, than usual. Um. Um, emotionally, you know, I feel like I've been in a gray area. Um, sometimes there are certain situations where I don't know how I should feel. And then it kind of makes me frustrated a little bit, but also it makes me really think logically about, you know, that situation itself. Like, mm, should I be upset over this or should I just let it go? Um, and sometimes I'm just like, on to the next, I gotta let it go, <laughs> you know? Um, so I feel like I've been a little bit less stressful when it when it has come to like that, whatever that is. Um, I feel like the, the situations itself fluctuate, you know, it fluctuates. So, yeah. Um, I mean, I think, I mean, one issue I have been, um, having a difficult time dealing with is being misgendered, especially when it comes from people that are around me very frequently. Um, there are people who don't misgender me at all, and there are people who like still like have a, a hard time with, um, I guess, adjusting, um, which I understand, but sometimes I'm just like, I changed my pronouns five months ago, like, can you? <laughs> you know, um, it's just it's just frustrating, you know, um, and you know, like I said, I understand people are adjusting, but you know, sometimes, especially when I'm ranting about it or when like it's something that really stresses me out, um, you know, I have people who are just like, well, you know, like everyone is like trying to like. I feel like the way people have been responding to me is like everyone is trying to get used to me. Um, and I know that's like the, the way some people have responded. It's it's not through, they don't have any malicious intent. But I think that people, I, I've been making it more and more clear to people that they need to be very like conscious about their language and the way they talk to me when I'm talking about transitioning. Because sometimes I feel like people either categorize me as like other, like, oh, the, the world is getting used to you. And it's just like, my identities have been here. Like, there is nothing to get used to, <laughs> you know? Um, or people also automatically like label, like put like the, 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 the two labels of aggressiveness and anger on my body. And I haven't been liking that at all because that's something that I've had to deal with you know, like previously identifying as a black woman, you know, and now like the way that they attach like aggressiveness and anger onto my body um, has just been making me feel uncomfortable. Like, oh, you can't get that aggressive or you can't get angry. And it's just like, well, you know, like those are human emotions. So like if I'm having a rough day, like, and a lot of times like, you know, especially if you know, they're cisgendered, you know, like, or, you know, like, whatever, you know, like, everyone has their days, but I'm just like, your day is in my day. And I think people, like, ha like, feel the need to, like, try to, like, compare, like, my journey with theirs in a way, although they're not similar in any way. And, like, I have to, like, really correct people, like, you know, like, I'm not,
trying to, you know, play like this, you know, very oppressive person, although, um, you know, I am oppressed in so many ways in society. Um, but, you know, like, I'm not, like, just riding off of that. But, like, I don't want people to, like, think that it's okay for for them to compare um, their experiences with mine when they don't even connect <laughs> at all. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, misgendering is something that, like, you know, like, I take it day by day. You know, like, if someone makes a mistake, I correct them. And some days, like, you know, it's something that pisses me off, you know. Um, and then, like, I advise people, like, you know, if you do that in a public space and just say, like, it's a public space in which maybe it's a bar or something. And I'm, like, using the men's restroom, which I've been doing more often, um, you know, which has been, like, cool. But, like, also, like, if there are other guys in there, I'm just, like... <laughs> I just kind of want to run out so like I you know I tell people like you know when you misgender me in a public like setting like and people may or may not like perceive me as male bodied um in some way and you misgender me in public like like that can cause harm to me potential harm to me so I mean like when I explain that to people they're just like it kind of just clicks with them and they like are more conscious about not misgendering me you know um and with the aggressiveness and the anger it's just that i'm still processing um not in a way in which like i i know where that stems from um oddly enough i've been getting it i i get that um you know that association more from women um, so I can see the foundation of, of, of where that stems from, but, you know, I'm all also like, that's not okay for you to do, um, to automatically attach only those two emotions to my body. Um, cause I feel like those are aggressiveness and anger are mostly like attached to black bodies and that's very problematic, you know? Um, so yeah, um. What else should I talk about? Um, I don't really even know if that all made sense. Um, it, it's like, to me, it's like every day I'm learning, you know, like I'm still learning about gender. Um, I'm learning so much about gender and myself and um, the way I move throughout society and the way pe other people move throughout society. So, you know, a lot of the times my thoughts are very choppy. So I apologize if I'm just like, you know, just going all over the place. Um, Another thing about misgendering, it's it's making me more concerned with passing privilege, um, and also like these like um, spectrums of masculinity, which are not different from day to day, but like sometimes like if I'm if I am, it's usually when I'm having a rough day and I go outside, I'm just like, why can't I look like him or why can't I look like him, you know, like and I start doing this very like. Um, unhealthy like session of of comparison which is something i know is is not healthy at all you know because a lot of the times this like masculinity that i'm trying to associate with may not necessarily be healthy and i know that but you know it, i feel like passing privilege also plays into that because like i do want to pass but i even don't i don't know what that means because like, I don't, I don't know how I should take that. I don't know whether or not I want passing privilege um, or, or what that entails. Like, whether or not any physical um, femininity is something that I don't want a part of, but I do want a part of that because I feel like I can't, like, you know, I w without my femininity, there is no masculinity, and without my masculinity, there, there is no femininity. I feel like the two um, play a very important part. So it's like, you know, like, I've been like in these like really like, you know, rough, I've been going through these rough patches where I'm just like, you know, I have to catch myself when I feel like I'm kind of going down the wrong path as far as like what I feel like masculinity should be according to society. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, so that's something that I'm also still processing and taking day by day. Um, and you know, I can't, I can't help how the world sees me at all. You know, that's just it at the end of the day. Um, so, you know, that's just dealing. That's a lot of patience and that's a lot of understanding, which you no, know, I'm definitely working on. Um, and you know, those are things that I think I'm going to touch upon more as I make more videos. Um, you know, because I think it's, it's definitely something that, you know, I'm trying to, you know, tap into more of why I feel the way that I do about certain spectrum, certain topics. Um, um, but yeah, I mean, overall, it's been good. Um, I mean, I have been spending a lot of time by myself. I haven't been, um, I haven't been a part of too many social situations. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's getting cold outside and I just kind of want to like, you know, do what I have to do during the day and go to work and then come home. Um, I don't know whether or not I'm excluding myself from, from social situations. Um, I think I'm just, you know, just finding myself in a lot of ways. And, you know, I don't want to go out all the time and I don't want to drink all the time. And, you know, I don't want to do all of that. Um, or I just want to be around people who, like, I can just have a conversation with, I think. Like a really good conversation. Because um, I don't do well with, like, small talk at all. Like, I, I just don't. Like, I just shut down. I'm just like, well, you don't have anything to talk about. I'm not going to talk. Um, but yeah, I've just been, like, very, like, just, um, I just want to surround myself with people who are just, like, who I can just have, um, you know, very intellectual conversations with. That's where I am now. Um, so some social situations, like, I don't, you know, like, I kind of avoid or, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, you know, but I think I'll be a little bit more social, you know, as time goes by. Um, I think I'm just in my isolation period, you know, of course, like, you know, every journey has that, you know, so I know that it's not something outside of the norm, but, you know, I'm also not trying to, like, completely exclude myself from people. Um, so, yeah. Um... can I talk about? Uh, I mean, I, I would say that, um, you know, I've, it's been interesting because I think this is like, um, you know, I've, I've been in a relationship since September. Um, and I think within this relationship, I've definitely seen um, a lot of changes within myself as far as like how I communicate, um, and it, yeah, I think the major thing that I've noticed is just communication, um, the difference in communication and how in a lot of ways, like I didn't know what communication entailed, <laughs> what it involved. I feel like a lot of people talk about like, you have to communicate and it's like, it's a lot easier said than done. Because sometimes I feel like there are things that I don't feel like I need to communicate, but I actually do. <laughs> you know, because I'm like, oh, this is something small. I don't need to talk about this or, you know, like, oh, this is not a big deal. But, you know, I've learned that I just need to, like, really, 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 really communicate. Um, and my partner is awesome. Um, I've known her for a very long time. Um, and I always kind of had a crush on her. But like it was something that I, I never felt like I had the space to express because I didn't know her that well. Um, I met her through a mutual friend, so I didn't know her that well. And then, you know, she was also in a relationship and, you know. Um, so, yeah, I always had a crush on her. And in the summer, she had a show at Makata and I asked her out on a date, like the day before my birthday. We had a great time. Um, and then I followed up maybe a week or two later and then ever since then we've been kind of like you know talking every day 
Um, and we started frequently talking when I started my transition. I remember texting her at the doctor's office because I didn't know I was going to start that day at all. And my doctor's like, well, you ready to go? And I was like, well, I guess so. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's, she's really been someone who's like been there, you know, um, since day one, I would say. And she's also the person I, I talk to the most. You know, we talk er, like every single day. Um, and she also started a journey of her own because she goes to Yale. She goes to graduate school. Um, and, you know, she's like two hours away, so there is distance. Um, and, you know, to be honest, dating wasn't something that I thought about when I took a year out to figure out, like, whether or not I wanted to do a physical transition, whether or not I wanted to go down this path, um, because I was really taking time out, um, just taking my time, you know, um, which is something that I feel like everyone should do. Um, and, you know, dating was the last thing that I thought about. And then when, you know, she kind of re-entered my life, um, I was just like, oh, like, you know, I got, I don't know, maybe I got a little concerned, you know, because I knew that anyone that I was going to date, like now, like, you know, you know, my body will be changing, will be changing a lot in, in the next year and, and beyond that, like, you know, there was this question of like, you know, will they still be attracted to me? Um, will they still love me? You know, like all these, all these questions that we ask, you know, um, I think I was really concerned about that. Um, but, you know, we started talking and I know like she expressed that she, uh, has dated a trans guy prior to me and that made me feel like a little bit more comfortable because, um, I mean, even more so now, I feel like there are a lot of things that I don't really have to explain to her as much as I have to explain to other people. But, you know, she is still learning a lot. You know, because that's never ending. Um, but yeah, that I feel like there was just this like um, this common language that we share with each other, as far as like when it comes to talking about gender and sexuality in those spectrums. You know, um, and we talk about that all the time, and it's nice. You know. It's nice to have that kind of partnership. Um, and I just talk to her about everything. Um, and I think she's made me a lot more lighter in a lot of ways. Um, you know, I, I think she's a fantastic person. Um, and I feel like it's the first healthy relationship I've been in in a very, very long time. And that's kind of mind blowing to think about. Um, you know, cause there are a lot of things that there may, you know, there are some things that I do and she'll just be like, she'll, she'll put me in check. She'll be like, no, you don't, you know, don't do that <laughs> <laughs> or don't say that, or you need to communicate more, you need to express more, but not in this like very like, uh, demanding way. It's just like, she's like, you need to do this. Like, this is how we will like, you know. This is how a relationship should be. It should be open. You know, it should be adventurous. It should be fun. Um, you know, it should communicate in order for us to understand each other in some way. You know, um, and you know, like I wholeheartedly respect her. Um, and yeah, um, it's awesome. Um, And I think that I probably will have her do a video um, next time when she's in town because I, I definitely want her to talk about um, her, 
I want her to talk about our relationship because I feel like that's very important. Um, and you know, it's it's not to. Uh, I don't want to say this in a way in which I feel like um, people who date trans folks that's like a, a thing like or or categorize that as other, but I feel like there should be some dialogue about that. Um, you know, I feel like it's important. Um, so I definitely, you know, will have her do a video and I will be in the same room. Um, and we'll just like, you know, just have a conversation and, you know, like, yeah. Um, so I think I'm at, yeah, I'm at 20 minutes, which is just long enough. Um, I don't want this to turn into a short film. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, I'm a little like tired, so I was a little choppy, you know, in this video, so I apologize. Um, I don't know if I made any sense. Maybe I did, maybe I, I didn't, but I will definitely elaborate in future videos. But I just wanted to, you know, update everyone. Um, you know, there are tons of things to talk about, you know, every day, like I'm learning something new about myself and just the world. Um, and yeah, you know, it's been really great. Um, and I don't know if you peeped that. That's my homeboy Lane um, started this project called Blackness, um, in which I take uh, glamour shots of, of people of color, um, which is something I don't think has been done before. So um, I printed these out in a show um, that the show is about how uh, each artist perceives um, femininity in society. Um, and I wanted to go a lot of different ways with that, but you know, because of a short amount of time, I decided to highlight male bodies that acquire um, femininity, because um, I feel like uh, the, the the bodies that I chose are very two spirited in a way. So you know, um, I thought that was a very interesting outlook on it. So yeah, I printed that out, and it's probably one of my favorite photos I've taken this year. Um, of course, there will be more to come. Um, and speaking of projects, um, Andre and Elise are still photographing, you know, me. Um, I think it's going to be a first year, you know, my transition. Um, Andre and I photographed on Sunday. Today is Friday. So, yeah. Um, and that went really well. Um, it was weird. I had, like, these kind of, like, weird, like, I was looking at the photos and I'm like, oh, like, got a little insecure, you know. Um, it's like, ah, my body isn't where I want it to be and all these things. But, you know, that's why I'm doing the project so I can see, you know, this progression and, and you know, for us to really highlight important things, you know. Um, the last shoot we were highlighting, um, we were the, tapping on masculinity and grief um, because it's the anniversary. It's the one year anniversary of me losing a lot of people last year. And actually, I, um, you know, had a homie who I knew through um, the downtown nightlife scene um, who passed away um, this week. Um, so I think with the next shoe with Andre, we're probably going to go really deep into grief and masculinity and how that's handled. Um, yeah, so those projects are still coming along. And yeah, just a lot of work, you know, a lot of important work. Um, you know, that is keeping me afloat in a lot of ways. And also for people to just, you know, see, I want to put it out there into the world and just, you know, I feel like my agency, and, you know, like in the past year, like my self-confidence, you know, has definitely increased, but more so like, I feel like my agency is very important, you know, um, obviously in the world, but also within art, you know, and a lot of the projects I am doing are based around, you know, my transition and how I'm, you know, you know, my outlook um, into the world. Um, and, and yeah, I think it's very important. And, you know, it will inspire like other people to do the same because that's, that's it, you know, like that's, that's the main thing, you know, to have other people be like, I want to tell my story. Like, because yeah, you should, you know. Um, so, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna cut this short. Sorry it was so long, but hopefully it wasn't boring. I don't know. 
maybe. Yeah. Um, right. Well, until next time, I'm thinking about making a video before the year end, so that should be cool. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Um, it's appreciated. I'm gonna go take a shower right now and go to the gym. <laughs> There's so much like masculine, like just like really just awkward masculinity in gym. It's just I'm just like I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, cool. Um, have a great day and see you soon. Uh, if you want to see any work, um, Instagram King Texas website kingtexas.net check it out hit me up let's talk yeah all right